Hello everybody, um, just put a couple of little videos together here. I'm not overly impressed with YouTube at all, just the way that they treat me. Um, they abuse me every day, taking videos off. It's supposed to be a business, but they've taken all opportunities of that away. And uh, you're not allowed to have your own opinion or see what people like. And, you know, they're just taking my videos off all the time. They just they just abuse me every single day. I don't get any other problems on BitChute or Rumble or Odyssey, just here. But I am trying. I'm also struggling a little bit because obviously I miss Mickey so much. And every day doesn't get easier. It just gets worse because it's another day without him. And it just feels like he died ages ago, to be honest. So I am grieving, and on top of that, I've got YouTube hammering and abusing me. So you can see why I'm not that bothered about coming on to YouTube. But I make videos for all my channels. So I'm just putting this out, and anybody listening can hear how disgruntled I am with YouTube. And when are people going to wake up and realise that we're not really learning anything there, or whatever, because they stop anything. They, they don't like anything. They, they have an agenda and you've got to fit into their agenda otherwise they destroy you and that's kind of what they've done to both my channels the unscrambled channel and here you know i've been viral it's okay that i'm not but what they've done is disgusting because it's below underhand you don't even know it's happening you just realize your channel's dropping off or they're, re they're just rejecting all the videos but you you don't see it they don't say right well we i don't want them to either but you don't realize it's happening to you everything is underhand and, and i watched a video with this guy he saw this girl she only put a few videos out but all her views were like millions and then they were looking at other people's videos and they looked at the mtml and they could see that on some places it was restricted so in the end it's how they do it to your channel they do it behind the scenes so you don't even know it's going on and it's pathetic because we're all waking up whether we come to youtube or not and a lot of people have moved on to other channels now because youtube is just barbaric it's not youtube is it it's their tube but anyway let's just carry on and see what happens with this video because you never know you're doing anything wrong until six months or a year later they delete it or give you a strike most of the time i don't think i've gone against anything really maybe they don't like it when i say that person's that person you know the actors but that's not my fault and youtube should put in the proper software to catch all the deep fakes but they don't so you know they run google and when you look up google history it'll say this 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 and this they don't care what we're looking at and what we're taking in but when you make a video about it oh my god the heavens drop down even though they know they're lying to us and they don't put the proper software in it's all crazy stuff but anyway let's carry on with this video i just thought these little videos were a little bit interesting so let's carry on ancient alchemy red mercury gold garlic in a mirror so let's talk about it red mercury and gold is it the key element behind the ancient technology of these advanced architecture as we can see here, red mercury is repelled by garlic and attracted by gold magnetically. When a mirror is placed beside it, colorless in the mirror, it has no reflection. It gives off free energy, overheats the metals that it comes in contact with. Many electronic valve devices have RM ampules found in the throat of the ancient Egyptian mummies, so it has healing prosperities. It has health benefits. Is it vampire blood? Well, no, it's red mercury. The whole vampire blood repelled by garlic and them having no reflection makes a little bit more sense now. So we know these ancients used red mercury, gold, copper, and iron. So if we have copper and iron in our blood, is it possible that these controllers have red mercury or some blood magic with alchemy? It has many uses and generates a power field on its own. It could have been used to power the ether, plasma devices, generators, power sources, frequency boosters. But let's talk a little bit more about how it's extracted. Well, 
I don't know what you made of that little video, but uh, please leave your comments below. Also, Alan sent me this picture because obviously I've got Mickey's cats. <laughs> Look at that Karen returning from vacation to her house. Oh, that's really sweet. That made me laugh, Alan. Thank you so much. And we're going to carry on now with a video. It's really weird because this is Hertz, the Hertz. But what is it really saying? In etymology, it says Hurt. It's a frequency they're giving out that hurts. Very interesting when you think about this video, but let's just carry on with this video. It was the Rockefeller Foundation in 1939 that instituted the world's standard tuning. The Western world tunes to A440 hertz frequency. When you tune your instrument to that, the F sharp note is 741, precisely. Not 7.1.1 7 or 0 0.2, it's 741 which meant that there was a clear, scientifically researched intent. The 741-A440 link came out of military research in the 1930s to induce psychosocial stress and dis-ease to the max. It was selected that A440 would be the standard tuning for the Western world. In fact, quote, mass hysteria, end quote, could be induced by instituting that frequency. We're finishing off on this little video, um, a reset, what do you call a reset? This person's saying it's that they're taking your property. Very interesting again, they are stealing your property, that is what a reset is about. So that you own nothing and you rent everything. So I wondered what you thought of this little video. Anyway, it's been, you know, I just saw these little videos and thought that, you know, I'd make them into one video and then we could, um, yeah, just watch, you could watch them. What's your thoughts to these little videos? Obviously, thank you to everybody that made them. Um, some of them are on TikTok. Um, yeah, very interesting, this last little video. So please leave your comments below. They refer to this whole operation as the great reset and so i'm also someone who studies law as well as finance and i happen to have black's law dictionary um, uh, in my library so i looked up and someone suggested this to me so it wasn't just my idea but i looked up the word reset and it describes a theft a transfer of ownership against property owners rights so in other words if the plan is that you'll own nothing and rent everything, then that means that everything you own now will have to be transferred to someone else's ownership. And since reset means a great theft, essentially somebody is going to steal everything that we own. Um, and that's what the reset is about. And that's why we're going to have to rent it. And that might be what we agree to, to cancel all our debt. They refer to